You know, it seems like we're never quite so eloquent as when we are decrying the crimes of a past generation. And uh, we're never so blind as when we assess atrocities in our own time. And today in the, in the land of the free and the home of the brave, uh, almost 18,000 uh, late-term abortions take place every year. Uh, these are very late-term babies, pain-capable babies. Uh, their mothers are subjected to a much greater risk, exponentially in fact, compared to an abortion in the first trimester. But these babies, uh, many of them cry and scream as they die. But because it's amniotic fluid going over the vocal cords instead of air, we can't hear them. And I would just suggest to you it's the, it's the greatest human rights tr atrocity uh, uh, in America today. And uh, it's just so ironic to me that we give more legal protection against pain and unnecessary suffering to farm animals under the Federal Humane Slaughter Act than we do these little babies. And uh, I, I mean, what we're doing to them is very real. And uh, I think we all know that in our hearts. And it's not who America is. And I hope that the Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act will catalyze an awakening in America where we will begin to consider the humanity of these little babies and the inhumanity of what is being done to them. Um, that's what we have to do. And I don't know what the final outcome of this bill will be, uh, but God help us to do our best. Uh, I think that uh, the, the tide of, of blindness and blood is beginning to turn in America and that we have more hope than we've ever had. But this is our test. And uh, now the last time we debated an issue of this magnitude and of this nature, uh, we shot each other to doll rags out on the battlefields of the Civil War. Uh, and we don't need to do that this time. We need to sneak, get together and open our eyes and recognize these little babies for who they are and, and understand that we're not going to listen to the abortion industry uh, give us uh, false arguments and, and distortions and gotchas and uh, twisted uh, uh, words to, to try to take our focus off the real issue that we're going to maintain our focus on, on these little babies. And that's why it's so important. Uh, on the road to CPAC.